we wanted to figure out what kind of games we could build around this experience of being in a virtual world with other people. And one of the very first ideas that, that rose to the top, one of the things, the worlds that we wanted to inhabit with other people, well, Star Trek. We wanted to get on the bridge of a, of a starship and fly it with other people. Star Trek Bridge Crew began with some prototyping we were doing with uh, social experiences in video games and, and virtual reality, where we had a prototype where you could, you could literally just sit across the table from another person in VR and talk with them. So you're the captain and using a menu system, you can give orders to the NPC crew. And that's very cool in a different way. You're still living that Star Trek fantasy, but you know, VR is about being as real, as virtually real as possible. So that menu system was just kind of like our, you know, lowest common denominator way of approaching the problem. And we started talking to IBM about Watson and, and we're contacted like, hey, Watson does great uh, speech recognition and voice recognition. Uh, and it seems like a natural fit for the game. What do you think? And I was like, well, yeah, that would be awesome because it just complements VR so perfectly to be able to interact with NPCs in a real, natural way. We both were interested in seeing where this could go. He and I kept in contact uh, and we were in good faith prototyping and working on um, uh, different ways in which we could implement this uh, Watson for, uh, for this game, which is really kind of a first for Watson also. We built the game in Unity and Watson supplied a Unity SDK or API for us to use. Uh, so really, it was very fast to hook it up. You know, within a matter of days, probably, we had test commands up and running already. It wasn't until we started working with Watson that it clicked, that we finally had a technology robust enough that players could use their voice. The captain could just speak to a human player or to an AI and get the expected result. Fire on my target. Helm, full speed ahead. One up, destroy. All right, did we get them? Engineering, transport survivors. It's really exciting to, to see this kind of influence coming into virtual reality, to see new technology and new players and new experiences all coming together.